still, but Mayor Drone refuses. Uh, last time we were heading to the big city with this awesome group. I'm just happy that they finally call a truce and things are finally smoothing over for these two. I still bet that they're gonna be best for us, but <laughs> I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and play some Blade right quick. I wanna see who I can beat. Oh, I'm gonna go against pieces. If we have to. Of course we have to. We must. And I will win Draw this a card. time. I'll okay. be going first. Okay. Uh... Take this. You suck. <laughs> now you've done it. Pertinent little. <laughs> Take this. Are you serious? How about this? How about this? Oh, Pertinent little. How about this? You suck. <laughs> now you've done it. My victory was assured oh from the start. Oh my god, are you serious? Uh, I cannot win at this game. I suck at card games. Well, that was fun. Let me talk to everybody to see what they have to say. I forgot what voices I've given these people, so forgive me if they're not the same voices as before. Uh, but let's go for it. I hate to have you to cooperate with him, but I don't want to be the one responsible for losing to Group B. I suppose I'll call it a truce with you, too. I almost forgotten that Maki's had a problem with me. Listen, I'm sorry about... I don't actually think you're a deceitful local sympathizer, so there's no need to say anything. But don't get the wrong idea. I've only agreed to a truce. I haven't been with you when you did. Let it go, man! Jesus! That's more than enough. Thanks, Marcus. Well, wh why? Why would you thank me? He's like, I'm still being mean to you. Our character's so nice. Haha, <laughs> looks like he really doesn't hate me after all. If only I could find some way to make up with him entirely. Dude, I'm sorry. If this was me, I would be like, you can go to the side because... I, I, I mean, if you hid who you were and you had good intentions or good reasons why? And you just didn't want to like pour your private life, your life story at this man? Like, I, I can't blame you for that, and he shouldn't either. So, forget you, Machias, right now. <laughs> Emma! Thank you so much, Rune. I knew you guys was right about you. What do you mean? At the station, he said, if anyone can do it, it's you. I just gave them my honest opinion. And that's exactly why I think you were able to successfully convince them. I guess it's up to us now to make sure we don't let the group down. We won't, I'm sure of it. What are you two whispering about? Don't worry about it. Hmm. It's, it is rather suspicious. Hmm. Nothing, nothing at all. returns of Barnhard so soon. It's been about two months since we started at the Academy. Guess it hasn't really been long enough yet for you to miss it, huh? <laughs> Indeed. And two months is hardly enough time for anything to truly change. <laughs> Very true. Still a city for nobles. I get the feeling I'm going to need to be a lot more conscious of the things I say or do. Yes! <laughs> nobles do have quite a with social standing in class. Really? I haven't noticed. <laughs> but you should not... Not... Uh, <laughs> but you should not let it get to you. Just be yourself. If 
huge or too much energy running in your every word and action, we won't be able to get anything done. That's pretty nice, thanks. Which is very true. If you have any more like it, I'm sure we would be really appreciate appreciative. We'll be relying on your knowledge on the city. Hmm, you're in good hands then. My soul. <laughs> um, is something the matter? I understand you. A little. Haha, <laughs> thanks, I guess. Still, the hard part will be keeping this up for the whole of our field study. We're going to need to get a lot stronger if we want to have a better chance to get some stress next time. If you want to be Sarah, a little extra training will be enough. True, we were completely outclassed by her last time. What sort of regimen she underwent so why so strong? It's just who she is. Sounds like she knows something. Maybe we can get to over a bit more someday. And stop talking and let's head to the big city. Producers. He's like crap. Lord Eusus, welcome back to Berehard. It's a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. He's a real VIP. I've returned here as a student of Thor's military academy to conduct a field study. I believe you were informed that this manner of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired, were you not? W well, yes, but... You're a child of the Elberea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Dear God. Squatter of ass kissers. That's basically what they are right now. Please allow me to carry your luggage. What part of he did not ask for this did he? Did you guys not understand? We would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. <sighs> that won't be necessary. Who is this? Huh? Lord Rufus? Uh... He's like, uh oh. Oh shit, who's this? R Rufus? What? My beloved brother, it's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months, where did the time go? I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I, you seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? Yes, that's correct. You know about us? Of course. I've read all about you in my brother's letters. Rufus Alborea. So this is, uh, this is older brother. My name is Rufus Alborea. Eusus is my younger brother. 
you needn't hide your shock. It would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me. Damn, man, at least he's aware. He is, after all, quite easily embarrassed. Th that's not... He's being toyed with. I can hardly believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and mostly tolerate? <laughs> He's like, mostly tolerate. Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. I came to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. W wait, you don't mean... <laughs> the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Oh, seems like a nice guy. But wait, didn't I see him in one of the dungeons? I'm gonna have to look back. But I'm pretty sure I saw this man inside the dungeon, lurking around. See, so the one responsible for selecting our tasks this time around was... Indeed, I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this. Thank you. It really is a fascinating coincidence. I never imagined my younger brother would become classmates with the son of Lord Schwarzer. Huh? You know my father? Certainly. Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <laughs> yes, he's quite well. And still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. And he's the one who's fighting him all the time, so he's like, oh, crap. I will... Consider the possibility with an open mind. <laughs> Wonderful. And I would be remiss if I were not to acknowledge our two beautiful ladies. He's such a smooth talker. No doubt your presence brings a touch of elegance to my younger brother's academic life. Oh, I'm honored you would say so. It's nothing like that. Can we please stop discussing me? <laughs> and when you say lodgings, you can't possibly be referring to... <laughs> Need you even ask? Naturally, you'll all be staying at the Alborea family mansion. But... <laughs> I jest. Father's instructions were that I should do with you as I wish. So, considering the circumstances of your visit, I've had a hotel room prepared. That way you'll be able to concentrate more easily on your field study, no? <sighs> He's like, oh, thank God. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Wonder what that was all about. Yeah, he does not want to go to his family home. He's like, please, don't take us there. I'm afraid we'll need to end our charming repartee here, however. For I can see your hotel coming into view now.
Thank you for the escort. And thank you very much for arranging the hotel for us. We're truly grateful for your kindness. Oh, we'll think nothing of it. Under ordinary circumstances, I would have invited you to a banquet this evening. But unfortunately, I have business I must attend in Harmdahl after we finished here. In Harmdahl, will you be going by airship? Indeed, I am representing our father. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to be all lonely and bleed without me. Surely, just. <laughs> <laughs> Where well, may not be most affluent person, but please do try to extend your kindness to my brother. May the goddess blessings be with you. I pray that your fields that it takes are fruitful. So that was Rufus Al Alberia. I've heard rumors about him. They say he's the ace of the noble faction. Meeting him in person? It's easy to see where the rupture originated. He seems like a rather charming person, possessing both intelligence and kindness. Yeah, he made a point of showing consideration for my dad, too, even though he's a liberal and noble. <laughs> he effortlessly thrust uses into the role of cute little brother. <laughs> I would have preferred you not to have seen that. Though I must admit, I wasn't expecting him to leave Baronard just as we arrived. How unfortunate. Hmm? What do you mean? Nothing that concerns you. We should check into our hotel and begin our work. Oh, wait! Come on, let's just go drop off our things. Yeah, yes, that sounds like a good idea. But the thought of actually staying in a hotel of this high class is kind of intimidating. Off we go. It is truly an honor that our humble station should be an opportunity to greet a memory of the esteemed dukes. Spare me the formalities. We came merely to drop off our belongings after which we will be leaving again immediately. Please show us to our rooms. As you wish. If you will allow me to escort you to the western wing, then, we've a fine suite prepared for you. We have individual rooms reserved for each of your classmates as well. Wait. I believe I told you before that we're here solely for our studies. This excessive hospitality is neither required nor appreciated. But, Lord Eustace, I must insist. Don't make me repeat myself. We require only two rooms. One for the boys, one for the girls. Would that be okay with you all? That works for me. It's more than enough. It's fine. Hmm. Of course we're students. We should be treated as such. We've wasted more than enough time as it is. Hmm. Now, now. Let's crack up a little bit, shall we? Alright, here it goes. Field study day one. Assigned task. Uh, well, we still got two requires this time. Addicted to bad salts. Uh, that's not healthy. The volunteer family even days in style using nothing but the most fabulous bad salts, which we are unfortunately running low on. Will someone procure them for us? Are you serious? You can't go to store yourself. Put a ring on it. <laughs> you can go ahead and pause the video if you guys would like to read these. Study area is defined as a hundred cell trees around north of East Barnhart. Each student must record his or her takes daily to be limited to be stretched upon request. From a noble, followed by one from an arson. That should certainly keep things interesting. Yeah, they seem to have struck the perfect balance here. The monster one sounds irritating. What do they mean by report to Arch's Fort on this one? Arch's Fort sits on the opposite side of Queen's Canyon. It's a provisional army base originally built in the Middle Ages. I don't think I don't want to go against any more army folk after what happened last time. 
Request must have come from there. Sounds like trouble to me. We should probably save that one for last, just to be on the safe side. I'd advise that regardless, the path through the canyon is long and treacherous. We should complete our other tasks before we venture out that way, unless we run out of time. Yes, let's do that. Find me. I guess I have no adjustments either. Alright then, let's get started. I'm sure Alyssa and the others are working hard on their own tasks as we speak, and we can't let them beat us. So let's get this our all. Right! Okay. Of course. I'll give you my word. Ah, oh, dang, finally. Before I do anything, let's... Wait. Haha, okay. Let's save right quick. Before we go ahead and adventure out here. Why are you sweating? Um, it's a pleasure to be Christ with your presence and your There's no need to be so formal. My apologies. I have to be used to serving yours at this point. But I was told to ensure that I do not do anything to cause you trouble. So this is the power of someone from the four great houses, huh? Hmm, quite you. Ah, should I just serve him like anyone else then? Oh wait, is that one right there? Who's this a statue of? What statue? It seems to oh. be a statue of Saint Veronica. Oh, you know of her? Go, let's go, Jesus! Oh, Daddy, Daddy! Why are you growling at me? Can I not talk to you? Okay. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a minute? Ah, oh, you might, those of you would be from Thor's military academy. I assume that you must be the students from Lord Rufus mentioned then. What's this all about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to the same students who came along here for some matter of field study, you see. Well, in truth, he asked my father first, but he's as busy as ever was. So the request was passed on to his heir, in other words, me. Yes, we get it, you're rich. Oh, that sounds rather interesting, doesn't it? I'll tell you guys what I came up with. Oh, you're such a tease. Might I have some time to think about it? Um, and I'm like, really guys, we're right here. Just tell me what you want. So, <laughs> what exactly was your request? Exactly, get to the point. You dare interrupt our conversation? <sighs> you comers truly have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those superior to you to face your comfort. Oh my. What's the matter? Lord Jesus, I had no idea you were here with these commoners. Well, I am. Do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Oh, of course not. We never be so press. I could get used to this. <laughs> She's like, yeah. We can get anything we want with him around. <laughs> Why couldn't he just stand where they could see him in the first place? Well, what is it that you're looking for? The request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, you see, I'd like to request that you procure some pink salt for us. I see. That's a rather difficult request. First, not then. I can change your request if you wish. That won't be necessary. A request is a request. Is it that hard to find? That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon to the east to find it, much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Ernest Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be easier. Ah, that's why he's saying it's such a pain in the ass to get. He's like, if we gotta go for the salt, we need to go out into the wilderness 
and probably defeat the monster while we're at it to get to it. And it's like, ah, work. Oh, I see. Why are they putting salt in the bath, though? Putting salt in the bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. <laughs> well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yeah, let's get the quest for Ashen Chick Cell before making our way over there, though. Yeah, good plan. Quest of Dicta Vessels. Alright, where's this other request at? Request! Um. Wait, why does that one have question marks? Hold on. I'm in the area where the question mark is. Question marks, but I don't know why. Wait, and the question marks keep moving. Oh, wait, they're not really staying in one place. Oh, is it on the lower level? Okay, 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 okay. This street seems kind of different from the others. This is Artisan Street. Cut you off, guy. My bad. So what you're saying is, any minute now. Indeed, we wouldn't. We shouldn't have to wait long. Oh, it looks like he's with a customer right now. What should we do? Should we turn later? Hmm. Judging by the uniform, you're ah, and I see Larusus is with you too. Welcome to our store. Have you come regarding the field study request? We have. I ask that you please refrain from giving us any special treatment on my account. If our time is inconvenient for you, we're quite animal to return at a late hour. No, no. It's it's the opposite of that. We were just discussing you as it happens. Alright then. Wait, you were discussing us? Does that mean... Of course. If you allow me to explain. This is Ben. Bent? Bearing it. Bent. His name is Bent now. That's his name. A tourist currently staying here in Barnhard. He's the one responsible for the quest that brought you here. See, I, I'm i going to get married in the near future, and I came and inquired that I'm having a wedding ring made. The artisans of Bernhard are renowned far and wide for their skill with the gem processing, so it seemed that I had a choice. Hmm, so you've made what I presume to be a several journey in search for a perfect ring. <laughs> it is a wonderful match thing to do, isn't it? There is no denying the quality of the jewels one can procure here, but... They don't come cheap. That's exactly right, unfortunately. Buying one of the local gemstones of my income isn't very plausible. And a symptom ring, especially, is out of the question. I quickly realized how impossible I've been, and I'd almost given up. But then I consulted a group here on whether or not I had any chance of finding a good deal, and it gave me a really good idea. Oh? That's right, a precious stone might be out of its budget, but there are stones just as beautiful that are a whole lot cheaper. Seven precious stones, if you will. But then it's pretty self-explanatory. I suggest we make a ring for him using one, especially a gem known as your tear. Hmm, I'm not familiar with that one. I think I may have heard of it, actually. It's made from a very particular tree set that hardens like stone after being exposed to air for a long time, and it has a Good shine to it that people say is easy to equal of a symptom. That's the one. I'm surprised she knows so much about it. Guess you're an expert on jewels as well, huh? That's her Emma. Haha, <laughs> it's just a personal interest of mine. So does that mean the reason you called us here is exactly I would need to collect one of these grand tears for my client. Fortunately for you, many of the trees that the tears can harvest from grow on the North Prison Highway. But even though it only qualifies as semi-precious, it's still a pretty rare gem. So finding one might not be an easy task. Well then, I suppose we'll just have to buckle down and look. 
it may not be, it may not be quite the challenge our dear friend here has made out to be, you know. Oh no. Why are you stalking me? I saw you in the last town. The innocent woodland's tear that you seek. How would you respond if I were to say that I saw one with my own eyes here moments ago? Who is this guy? Do you know who is this? I can't say that I recall meeting him before, no. Haha, <laughs> precious, how terrible and polite of me not to introduce myself before speaking. My name is Baron Blue Black. It's a, it's a true pleasure to make your acquaintance. From painting sculptures and fine of art to the most delicate depths of crafts. I am a connoisseur and a lover of beauty, craftsmanship, artistry, and all their many splendid forms. I, I see. You seem a little off putting eccentric. But that's enough about myself. I hear you seek entire tear. Yes, that's right. Um, you saw one moment ago? Are you certain? My dear lady, I would never dream of lying about matters of beauty. I beheld the light which you seek on the northern highway of that I am certain. And yet I must confess that my knowledge of the area is not so great that I would be able to share its exact location. Though perhaps that's the way it should be. After all, a brilliant light has true meaning only when one comes with only two hands. You don't say. Guys, my speech is irritating. Hm. So this is the content of his words. Haha, <laughs> now, now, what's your mouth? Um, well, we're certainly appreciative for the information. May I ask why you're telling us all this, though? Huh, perhaps it is the spirit of a Christmas that drives you to seek a beauty in your mirror cannot buy. It moves me so, and being the cherished man that I am, I am deemed to extend an olive branch. Is that sufficient enough reason for you? Sure? Well, we'll know soon enough if he's telling the truth. Yes, we need to begin our search. We can choose to follow his lead, unspecific as it may be, or disregard it entirely. I think our chances are about equal either way. Well, we'll be leaving now. Hopefully you'll see us back soon enough with your dear in tow. Good luck. I appreciate it. Haha, uh -huh. good day to you. Put a ring on it. It has started. Alright, well we met our stalker, we met Yusuf's brother, and I think I just ran out of time for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please destroy that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!